Hey everyone, you're watching Wisdom Shots. Steve Jobs was one of the most admired business storytellers in the world. In fact, the word business storytelling came after his legendary product launches. If you study Steve Jobs and his presentation style, you will learn that he uses a pattern, a storytelling pattern to drive the point. And this pattern is from Joseph Campbell's famous work called The Hero's Journey. So let me explain. So Joseph Campbell was a leading mythology expert of all time. You know, he was a philosopher. He studied all the classic books, stories, Greek mythology, Indian mythology, I mean, stories from every culture around the world. And he found a pattern, a kind of a template in, in all these stories. He found an algorithm. You know, we think it's all different stories, you know, but it's all one. He uses the phrase, a hero with thousand faces. And he came up with this diagram called the hero's journey. So all stories start with an ordinary world, like once upon a time kind of stuff. The journey is from ordinary to extraordinary from known to unknown, from dark to light, from a normal world to a special world. You know, there is a vision, or there is a call to adventure, there is a quest, there is various trails, challenges, obstacles, dragons, villains, you know, a girl's father if it is Bollywood, an alien or a creature if it is Hollywood. And a hero is someone who faces these challenges with courage. A hero is someone who will not give up. A hero is determined to reach the promised land. A hero is someone who will marry the pretty girl irrespective of the situation. And you will see this everywhere, you know, from Rama and Mahabharata to Shakespeare. All the stories you heard as a kid, all the fiction books you read, all the movies you watched, all the video games you played, you will see this pattern. And it's a story of adventure, you know. It's like up and down. And, and, and it's a graph. It'll be like this. And look at all these movies and you will see this graph. Now, whatever is the latest movie you watched, you, know, you see this pattern. No compelling story would be complete without friction and adventure. You know, all well in the beginning and then the hero go through an adventure, a crisis, overcome the challenge, you know, kill the dragon and all well at the end. And this is a typical storyline. So now coming back to Steve Jobs, let's analyze how he uses this pattern in business presentations, in business storytelling. He projects an Apple product, say an iPhone, as a hero. He introduces his product in the same way a filmmaker introduces the hero. And I just watched this. You know, this is the first iPhone launched in 2007. Are you getting it? These are not three separate devices. This is one device. And we are calling it iPhone. Today, today Apple is going to reinvent the phone. Apple reinvents the phone. And what does it mean? Ordinary to extraordinary. Normal to special. And he brings obstacles, challenges, limitations, you know, in this case with the ordinary phone. And he places the hero, the iPhone, above everything. Smarter, but they actually are harder to use. They're really complicated. Just for the basic stuff, people have a hard time figuring out how to use them. Well, we don't want to do either one of these things. What we want to do is make a leapfrog product that is way smarter than any mobile device has ever been and super easy to use. This is what iPhone is, okay? So. He brings challenges that normal people overlook and projects iPhone as a hero is going to save the world. So Steve Jobs' presentations are filled with emotions. He presents data with emotion. So at the end of the day, that's the story, right? Data with emotion. So. A thousand songs in your pocket, the iPod Nano. So, let's get a camera. 
I've got a pocket <laughs> right here. Now this pocket's been the one that your iPod's gone in, traditionally. The iPod and the iPod mini fit great in there. You ever wonder what this pocket's for? <laughs> I've always wondered that. Well, now we know because this is the new iPod Mini. So Apple as a company got this cult-like reputation because they positioned their product in that way. Apple products are heroes who are going to save the world. You know, that's how they project. You know, they tell us stories. They don't tell facts. You don't see any hardware, software specification details in, in any Apple advertisement. You see only emotions. So the question is, you know, what can we learn from you know, this hero's journey? So why are we so excited about hero's journey? Because deep inside all of us, there is this hero or a heroine. You know, when I'm using the word hero, I'm referring to both the gender, okay? So both men and women. So we all go through similar journeys in life. Now we admire heroes because that is, that is what we want in our lives. So we want to be like them. The hero's journey for us, it's an inner journey, a journey of transformation. More than the fears in the external world, so we have our internal fears, you know, self-doubts, limiting beliefs, internal dragons and demons. You know, we have to kill those fears to move forward. The path is not easy, but it's rewarding. So the most important attribute of a hero is courage. You know, courage doesn't mean that you know, you're not scared. It means you are willing to face the consequences. And mythology is a metaphor you know, for human existence. If you read you know, any of you know, those mythology books, it shows us the possibility to go beyond the ordinary. You know, there's a saying, the cave you fear to enter holds the treasure you seek. I repeat, the cave you fear to enter holds the treasure you seek. So we have a choice to stay in the non-world comfort zone, resist this calling and, and live a boring life. The other option is to step up, you know, face the unknown, face the fear, you know, face the challenge and live a life of adventure. And it's very fulfilling. So Joseph Campbell says, we must follow our bliss. So be the hero of your story, you know, awaken the hero within you and share your treasure with the world. So thank you so much for watching. I am Sriyat Krishnan. Stay happy, stay healthy.